How's it going, everybody? We're back after a little bit of a break, sort of, to talk about Avatar 2. Yep. Um, I don't think any of us were that excited to see this movie. I mean, maybe there are some super hardcore fans out there. There are definitely some super hardcore fans. But I gen- definitely can't. I feel like the general... I don't know. I haven't met any person who's like been super excited about this movie. I feel like... Yeah. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our, our prediction going into this it was the uh, it'll be a technical marvel and the story will just kind of be all right. And I will say, that just uh, having come out of the theater, I liked it more than I thought I would. Mm-hmm. But it definitely has some things that I could, <laughs> I, I, I could critique. I think before we jump into it, let's talk about another upcoming technical marvel really quick. And I just want to ask you, what do you think about the upcoming indiana jones movie because there was a trailer for that before going into this i mean (laughs) bro a good indiana like if it's good then fuck yeah right like exactly because indiana like the first three are they're fucking awesome i i want it to be good so well because i don't want like kingdom of the crystal skull to to be be the final one exactly I want this one to like fit well into it, but I'm not, I don't think I've seen that full trailer before. And I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, uh, I hope that's good. Cause I Indiana know. Jones is so sick. He is sick. The D agent Harrison, Harrison Ford didn't look too bad. Yeah. He didn't look too bad at all. Yeah. I was pretty impressed. It with looks that. less uncanny than some of the sh- shots in, uh, Star <laughs> in Avatar. <Wars. laughs> oh, well. And like when they like de-age Mark Hamill in Star Wars, it, yeah. it doesn't look very good they've, in the they, Mandalorian. They, they've had to have done it. Oh, do they really? Yeah. They do it in the Mandalorian. Oh shit. There's like young Luke Skywalker. Don't they do it with Leia too? And like the new ones? Yeah. And Rogue One. Oh, that's right. And Rogue One. Yeah. That one didn't look And then they good. get, they get Tarkin. In Rogue One as well. Oh, who's Tarkin again? He's like, you're my fire when ready on the Death Star in A New Hope. Oh, the old, like the older yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Moff Tarkin. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I yeah. remember now. That's cool. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of the title, The Dial of Destiny. Yeah. That sounds like an Indiana Jones comic book arc to me. It sounds like a Nintendo DS Indiana yeah. Jones <laughs> game. Or like, it's like the... <laughs> the nes side scroller <laughs> yeah exactly it's just like it's non-canon thing yeah yeah the title is not very good i agree the um, last crusade temple of doom kingdom of the crystal skull yeah <laughs> <laughs> um well judging from the trailer like it doesn't seem like they're doing the whole star wars marvel comedy thing with it like yeah the, just like the one scene that points out to me in particular is when at the very end of the trailer, when he like swaps the the whip around yeah. and is like, and back, then they, back. And then they all pull out the guns and he's like, oh, that like, that was a, like an Indiana Jones moment for sure. It was. Yeah. It's like, it's just like lighthearted, pure adventure, you know? Like, yeah. It, it was like the same from Raiders when he like pulls out the gun and shoots the guy with the yeah, sword. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I don't know. It, I've got my hopes high. I'm cautiously optimistic. And it's um the director of Logan is Do the it. director, James really? Mangold. Okay. Yeah. So it's not Spielberg, but I mean, he did do Logan and I still the Wolverine. Think, I still think Spielberg I still think Spielberg's a fucking phenomenal director, but his latest stuff haven't been classics, you know. Exactly. Well, also He's he's I'm I'm, I'm not going to ever say he's like, you know, but he he's done what he's He's going to still make th- like super sick shit, but he's done what he was put here to do, you know? <laughs> I think my favorite stuff from like recent Spielberg has been his like not blockbuster stuff. Like Ready Player One. I love Ready Player One. Oh, I wasn't really a huge well, fan dude, of Ready I, I Player One. It. What, what other ones has he done recently? He did um, Super 8, right? But that was a little no, bit No, that ago. was JJ. Oh, that was JJ. Hey, wait, was it JJ? Yep. All right. I got to look Damn. up Spielberg. Um, Spielberg. So I haven't really been a fan of his like blockbuster stuff, like I said, but he's got so many producer credits. Okay. I, 
Well, I never saw West Side Story. I did heard you see, it was good, though. Did you see Big Fucking Giant? No. <laughs> i never seen Tintin. Tintin. I want to put Tintin on the comic book list, actually. I know nothing about Tintin. Uh, apparently, Tintin is good. You ever see Hook? Hook is a great movie. I haven't seen Hook, but I think... I the, fucking love Steven Spielberg, bro. He's, he's fucking... I think The Post is supposed to be pretty good and The Fablemans, but... It seems like his blockbuster outings recently haven't been too crazy, but like the mm-hmm. lower budget, more personal things are kind of what I feel like hits for him now. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's fair. Um, I'm surprised he didn't like Ready Player One. I, it just... I so... thought it was lighthearted, you know? I mean, maybe it's because I went in there with low expectations too. It didn't feel like... I also did read the book before. Yeah, I did not read the book. So, so that, yeah, I heard the book is really good. The book is really good. Okay. The book is crazy. Well, book is always better. Right? Exactly. I think that's why I didn't like it. Yeah. I was just disappointed from having read the book. That's very fair. But, um, and then you want to know something really sad about this, la- the Indiana Jones movie? This one coming out? Yep. <laughs> oh god tell me this is um john williams final movie that he'll be scoring oh so at least you know the music is gonna be fucking awesome because it'll be john williams right yeah like he never fucking misses. G, dude no he never misses so yeah john williams final final composer. i hope it's a i hope now even more so i hope it's a like good send-off yep i agree I was going to say, do you like the, uh, I was thinking about this during the Mario trailer when we were watching it, like the theme that they do, the new theme that they did, it's just like that, but they have like the drums going and everything. What do you think of that? I feel like it's fine. It's it's just the trailer for now though. What do you think about it? Like it's still the Mario theme, but it's just like a little like. Like cinema, like. Yeah, yeah. It's for the movie. I don't know. I just, it just feels weird listening to it for me. No, it, it's definitely a little weird. Like, this is the Mario theme. This shouldn't <laughs> yeah. be coming out of a movie. But, like, it's just the trailer right now, though. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I bet we, that song will play. Oh, it will like, definitely fighting, play. Like, Bowser or something, you know? I hope. I think that they've... I, I could be wrong. So, I guess maybe yell at me in the comments if this is true. But, um, I... I think Koji Kondo is like has his hands in the score somehow. Well, like, no, Koji Kondo is, is maybe the best composer of our time. <laughs> For those who don't know, he did um, a lot of the soundtrack for Mario, Zelda. I think he did Pikmin. I don't know. All I know is Mario and Zelda. Yeah, but he's he makes fucking really really good music. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like. Okay, we've just jumped from Indiana Jones to Mario. Yeah, but- should we should we should we talk about the three hour long movie? <laughs> okay, yeah, should, uh, yeah, let's jump into it. I okay, well, you just go ahead, go from, ahead, just just a quick, I, I have, quick note. <laughs> I have to get my thoughts out there. It seems like you mentioned this during the when we watched the Mario trailer, but like it's the animation from Illumination actually like looks good. This is the best yeah. Illumination animation we've seen, and mm-hmm. it like you can tell that. Nintendo has had their like Nintendo has, checks, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Nintendo's been involved with this, and I feel mm-hmm. like that's a, a good sign. I agree. Just the Chris Pratt, the Chris Pratt Mario. I just, I don't, I don't think I can get. <laughs> yeah, over yeah, it. yeah. You could have gotten someone. The Wahoo, you know, there's got to be better people out there. Yeah, the Mario Wahoo. Why didn't they just get Charles Mar- is Charles Martin? Is that his name? Mm-hmm. Right. Honestly, he would have been great. I would have watched the whole movie. With they him. said he's going to be in it. Oh, he's really? Like, okay. in like a secret role. Okay, okay. Have I told you my theory on this? Is it multiple dimensions, Mario's? Yeah, like I think he's going to go into like a N64 Mario. And we're gonna, it's gonna oh, be... <laughs> okay. That's actually, yeah, I remember. It, is, did I tell you this? Yeah. Were you, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Is you, this... should, you should tell... tell I was just reacting. So you should tell the audience. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> if, for those that haven't listened. Uh, that he's going to go into like an N64 realm and it's going to be blocky Mario, but it's going to be Charles Martinet's voice. And he's going to be like, it's going to be Chris Pratt Mario. And he's going to be like, what? I don't sound like this guy. And he's going to be like, wahoo. Yeah, I can see it. You know. Oh my God, we opened a portal to the Mario multiverse. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, 
what if they have cameos from uh the live action marios that'd be cool i don't think so i think the they're the only live they're the only like real people in the entire movie (laughs) yeah it'll be like the will ferrell cameo in the lego movie too i think the guy that played mario in the original one is dead actually well they (laughs) bob hoskins they can deep fake they can deep fake him yeah they can they can pull a tarkin yeah they can (laughs) Would you ever want your likeness to be used if you died? What? Sorry. Do you think you would ever want your likeness to be used if you died? I don't know. It depends. Yeah, I don't know either. I'd feel weird, but like you know, you don't have a say in it, right? Like, yeah. And like, what you would do if you say yes? It's like whatever they want to do, they can do. Because you're dead. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe if you're like, I don't want to be part of that because like something with it. But yeah. I guess it's treading on weird moral grounds. As long as they don't make me say anything that Kanye has been saying. Yeah. They, then I'm all right. <laughs> they make a movie and make you come out and just say a bunch of racist shit. And, leave yeah. and, they're like, and thank you, Cameron, for joining us in that movie. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all right. Yeah. yeah it's, it's time. It's time to talk about the, the Blue, way of the water. The way of the water, yes. So much fucking water. I had to pee so bad and there was so much fucking water everywhere. <laughs> the movie's so long. <laughs> Do you think it felt long? I it didn't feel that long to me, to be honest. I thought the pacing was well. Yeah, it, it was pacing. paced very well. Yeah, as weird crazy as that is, because like we, we were talking walking into the movie about how we both love the new Batman movie, but at times it can feel like it's just really slogging on. Yeah. I didn't feel that in this one. Like I was like genuinely like kind of like, oh, like like engaged watching it. I was along for the ride for sure. I think my like, before we jump into specifics on the plot, I was, I thought that this was a very, it's in line with like, just a super average Marvel movie, you know? Yeah. Like it was just like, a good time, you're long for the ride, there's not a whole lot there. It's just like, you yeah. know? I think it was better than a Marvel movie. You think so? I think it was a good movie. Okay. I thought it was pretty good. I, yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't say it was bad. Yeah. I, I, I say it's on the same level as like Black Panther. The new one? Yeah, the new Black Panther. Really? I'd say it's Okay, about well that's, 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 I was gonna say, for me that's a different thing because I didn't like the new Black Panther that much. But you like the new Black Panther. Yeah, I thought it was all right. Yeah. Like, I think it was about pretty even for, like, just, like, just say your average Marvel movie is how I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, I could see that for sure. Um, I it think- was kind of, it was weird watching this movie. The when, it, when the movie first started, for me, it was really hard to get past, like, what it was like showing me, you know, like it, it felt like, like we were talking like almost like an unreal engine or like a video game cutscene. And it took a little bit of the movie for me to like, kind of like get into that suspension of disbelief to mm-hmm. like not have it look that weird to me. But yeah, I, I agree. It you've, have you, you've seen the, like the matrix unreal five demo thing. Yeah. It, it, it felt exactly like that to me or that I was watching like, a Resident Evil Village or a God of War Ragnarok cutscene, like, mm-hmm. or uh, I think it was definitely better. Like it was better than that. No, but it was it was just like uncanny, you know. Like it was, but it it, it was better than a video game cutscene. Like there was way more detail, but you could still tell that it was CGI. Like it didn't look real. Yeah, it didn't look real. <laughs> You're right, but it wasn't bad. That's not to say it's it's realistic, but it didn't look real. Exactly. They had a lot of fucking cool designs, I thought. Yeah, like, I, the world is uh, is pretty cool, the world, actually. Yeah, the world building is pretty sick. <laughs> There's better in this one, I think, than maybe... I don't know. You you said you you rewatched the first one. I did rewatch the first one. Do you think the world building was a bit more expansive in this one than it was in the original? I think it was... Well, the first one kind of, like, lays the groundwork. I think it was about pretty similar. Okay. I mean, I did just say that I thought it was cool, but like now when I like think a little bit deeper into it, I'm like, it's kind of fucking lame. (laughs) You didn't like the fucking crab robots? No, the crab robots were cool. The crab robots were dope. What about just like the actual world of them? Like, 
I, <laughs> like the actual planet of Pandora, like they're like, oh, it's a whole network and it, it's all connected. It's I guess just like, it's just like cool, it's just like nature. And then like it is nature. And then it's like you see, it's like the really cool, like ah, oh, these animals are so powerful. And then like, oh, it's so beautiful. And then America just comes in and they're like, dun, 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 dun. and they have all this fucking like crazy ass military tech and are flying in on like mecha robots. And it's like, boom, 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 blasting away the fucking <laughs> wildlife. Away the dun, 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 dun. Yeah, like blasting rock music coming down. And it's, I, I like, it is, I, I thought the <laughs> extreme between those two forces working, like both designs on both sides, like were cool. I think the, this has been said as well with like this can be said about the first one but it one of the things that's interesting about this is that like humans are the bad guys in this movie yeah and it's not really done very much usually it's like independence day where we're getting invaded and mm -hmm. well i guess in the in the fucking avatar lore it's because <laughs> Um, it's because the planet is dying. Earth is dying. Earth is dying. Yeah. So it's like, well, well, in the first one, they're and, mining uh, unobtainium. It's not because Earth is dying. They're just like yeah. mining the 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 resource. Also, okay, I, I will will I will get there in the story. Yeah, when yeah, we get yeah, there. Because yeah, 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 there's yeah. one part that like, okay, yeah, we should start talking about the yeah, story. Yeah, let's start be talking before, about the story before it starts spreading out other stuff. Um. <sighs> okay. Wait. So very very basic right at the beginning it starts out with him with like voiceover dialogue and in the first movie the voiceover dialogue is because he's doing like um he's doing like uh what is it called like a video log and they yeah and like the re like there's a reason in the first movie that there is the narration because, because it's like him because of, yeah it's him doing the video log and it like because he's in the avatar for scientific purposes so yeah. i don't know i i was not a fan of the narration in this one I because really, it was just kind of slapped on in the first could, one there could was you like a give purpose. like the fastest recap of the first movie since you've watched it recently <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> here's the fastest recap ever jake sully is human he's crippled and his he's a marine he was crippled because he was a marine and his brother was supposed to be the one that uh was in the avatar his brother was supposed to be sent to pandora mm -hmm. to be in the avatar body to um help them mine the That's, unobtainium yeah and but his brother died and since they were twins he was a good fit and so he is able to like become the avatar and then <laughs> be in the avatar body and then uh, and then he like becomes one of the people and then yeah. he like learns their ways. And then uh, the fucking general guy wants him to be like a mole for him. And because he's like all for Don't human, they destroy the tree? They do they destroy the tree. The, where the like an obtainium is. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then he, and then he like rallies all the, all the Navi to fight back. And then they win. And then mm -hmm. he transfers his body or like he transfers his consciousness into the avatar body. So he doesn't need his human body anymore. Yeah. Sigourney Weaver's character dies and that's about it. Yeah. How does Sigourney <laughs> Weaver's character die? Well, so the, the humans sent them into the avatar bodies to warn the Navi people because he was like, Oh, I'll, I'll get them out from under the tree. Yeah. Um, and like save all their lives. And he's like, okay, well you have, five hours to evacuate them or else we're coming in and then they, they didn't evacuate them in time yeah and so they like took them out of their avatar bodies too early and then they're like trying to escape and then she gets shot okay gotcha yeah. interesting good recap <laughs> <laughs> so this movie takes place 15 years after the events of that film uh still following jake silly this time he has a family five children i don't know how many yeah i think he has like two or maybe three that are actually his children. three biological kids yeah and then he had the sigourney weaver's uh avatar bodies kid and then the human kid which was the the colonel's kid yeah he, the evil dude from the first movie he had like one too many kids i thought like yeah like 
I don't know if this is racist towards the Avatar people, <laughs> but I could not tell his two sons apart. No, I cannot tell. Oh, okay. I, it got better towards the end. It got but, better towards the there, end. But there the definitely only, were some parts where I was like, I'm kind of confused. Like The only like differentiator, differentiator between them was their height. Yeah. Like, otherwise, they looked exactly the same. Do you think that's why they made it so that they went with the fish people? The fish, like, Navi people? Because their like skin is slightly lighter. Yeah, and they had like the like larger things on their arms and a larger tail. Well, I think that the main reason that, that they might... went to the water was so that James Cameron could show off how cool the water effects were. The water effects were pretty cool. I'm a <laughs> sucker for water stuff, like in video games, especially, and in like movies and a lot of stuff. Anytime it's like beach or water stuff, I really like it. It did look cool, but I thought it was unnecessary for the plot. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> Um, but I, I thought he had way too many kids. Like I couldn't tell the kid, like, I don't even know any of the kids' names. Um, I don't even remember his wife's name. Natiri, but that's only because I watched the first one. Yeah. What's the general's <laughs> name again? <laughs> I don't even know the general's name. <laughs> yeah. Spider. Um, spider is the spider general's son. son. Yeah. Spider, and that's, yeah, spider was an easy one to remember. <laughs> Well, at the very beginning, I was like, I bet one of his kids is going to die. Yeah. Like, and it's the one that gets the least development in the story. Yeah. I was like, what What was the point of having that kid in there? Like, yeah. make, make the young one die. Like, that would make me care, <laughs> that would make me care about it more. You know? <laughs> if at the end of the movie, the general, like, picks up the little Nami and just, like, just kills her in front of the father. You're just like, holy <laughs> shit. She does, like, a Mortal Kombat fatality. Like, yeah, like, her <laughs> hat. Like a scarlet one where he like bathes in her blood. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's like, wow, that got dark. <laughs> All right. But anyways, so we still follow Jake Silly. He now has a family <laughs> yeah. of three biological ki- like kids and then two that he just like adopted. He's still leading the forest people yeah the forest not like people and they're kind of like attacking the humans still doing their thing but then as kids who are really kind of honestly stupid and every time there's like super unbelievable danger they all somehow are all together like <laughs> yeah. on the precipice of like just like the american military coming in dun, 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 dun. <laughs> With their fucking turrets and everything. Like, Holy shit, there's Jake Sully's kids. Let's take them out. Oh, <laughs> all of them together. Yeah. Let's take them out. <laughs> don't there's people firing the grenade launchers and shit. Okay, well, I don't understand why they even had to Okay, yeah. So they're they're in the forest and then the kids get like <laughs> seen yeah. by the American or the the humans. They get seen Human they bad. get seen by so the general in the first movie that oh, Silly yeah. kills, <laughs> his consciousness was saved and put into an a avatar, new avatar body. body. And like he, he like got to watch his death and stuff. So now he's just like an avatar. And I guess a couple of his like goons are also avatars, but I don't even like th- those characters are even less like they're just like I, think I don't even know if all of them died. Like did some, they all die? It seems like I they, think all, they died all died immediately. Died except for him. Yeah. I think that some of those were returning characters as well from the first one. Yeah. But like, you couldn't even tell. No. <laughs> Except for the colonel who had the one log scene. Yeah, exactly. But. I think he was an effective villain. It's kind of weird that, I don't know. It's I didn't understand why they like sent him though. Cause, so in the first movie, they make a really big deal about like, oh, we needed you, Jake Sully, specifically. Because you were like with your twin brother, yeah. you're like the perfect match for this avatar and making the avatar body was so expensive. We can't just like get rid of it. Mm-hmm. Like we need you to like come and do well, this. Well, I think wasn't that like because the first one? Though? That was the first one, but like, it seems like, oh. This was 15 years after that. You think in 15 years an avatar body is going to be way cheaper? Remember the, when they're walking through when like he's like he comes back and he's like oh shit I'm an avatar now and he's talking to the new general she's like yeah shit has like gone crazy we've gotten more in the past like 10 15 years than you guys have in the past like 30. Okay. And she's like yeah these robots can build buildings like immediately. I was just thinking why would 
Why would they bring him back? Why would they bring him yeah. back like also, just to just to kill just Jake to Sully. kill Jake Sully? Like, like why does Jake Sully's life matter at all? To that's these what people? I'm saying. Why yeah. would they spend like let's say let's say an Avatar body costs like fifty billion? Yeah, just 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 uh, so the reason he came back was for the mission to kill Jake Sully. Yeah, so just, yeah. Just, I don't know if that was like explicitly say, but yeah, sorry. Continue. Let's say one Avatar. I, oh, I I'm pretty sure I'm not pulling fifty billion out my ass. I, yeah. I think that they say. An avatar body costs like fifty billion to make. Yeah. So why would they make his entire squad plus him to kill Jake Sully? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like a trillion. When it's like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So that's anyways. what I couldn't get over right at the beginning. I was like, why did they bring him back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a nitpick, but it's like they're like faded, like hero villain like you know but it's just like yeah why the, the military like he has all these resources and like th at the end of the day him being alive especially since he left after his kids got uh like almost caught by them and that's another thing that i didn't understand like so in the first one they fight off the humans make them leave pandora but then the humans are back and why don't they just like stay in the forest and fight off? Like they know that they can, um, they, they know that they can defend them off. They've done it before and their base is so well hidden because their shit get, is like uh, the, the humans instruments get disturbed by the floating mountains. So yeah. why would they, why would they leave? Like yeah. I get that the human kid knows all your secrets, but like, what if you just like go and save them? Like, yeah. I feel like the exact same thing that happened to them with the water tribe, with them getting tracked and I, it would have happened the exact same way had they just stayed in the forest yeah. and they would have honestly had more tactical advantage in the forest, like having known everything about it. So why did they go? Why'd they even go to the water? <laughs> well, they, they, but they went to the water, but like, you'd also think that they'd be like, all right, well, I guess Jake Sully's gone. He's like way across the fucking way doing whatever, like, fuck him. <laughs> and why didn't they show, I, I get that this was a long ass fucking movie and I don't even know where they could have like cut out stuff, but yeah. like, they didn't even show them like going into the forest people and burning the forest tribe down to look for Jake Sully. Like how yeah. they know that he left. Like, I mean, they should. They showed the colonel it was, it learning was, to ride the thing, but it then was, it was just uh, like it was the. I oh, it was the it was helicopter like the, to, to the, the like trajectory of where they were going. But how would they know that? I think there was like a scene where they were looking at like the projector, and they're like, based off of like the trajectory of where they went. Well, it was because they, they're in like this island group. It was because the um, the one the the Sigourney Weaver's oh medical character. team came out. Yeah, the medical team on the came helicopter. Up, and that's how they tracked. Oh, okay, that's how that. Yeah, okay. But there was a huge gap in between him learning to fly the thing and that part with the helicopter. Yeah, like I don't know. It, it seemed like there was a disconnect. That sh there should have been like another scene of them like figuring out he's not in the forest anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. But so I now, mean, so now are they just like, oh, eh, whatever. The other Navi people are fine. Like, it's still like war, right? Like, I feel like they just. I feel like it'd be weird to like hunt down a general if he's like, I quit war and moves halfway across like to fucking Antarctica. What? Like, oh yeah. yeah. Like, what? Like, are you saying like, why did they? Why are they? Why do they care so much about Jim yeah, Sully? Yeah. I, that's what I don't know. Like, why? Yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I feel like their their unobtainium resources way more valuable, or the fucking well, thing they, that stops human from aging that's way more valuable. Like, yeah, why do they care about killing that was, Jake that's, Sully? That was one thing I wanted to bring up. So, like, one the resource in this one, they bring it up for a quick second. It's when the humans kill like this like majestic whale creature thing that the Navi people and the fish Navi people like can bond with, and like they're super smart and whatever. Um, fuck. Where, where 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 was I going with this? this, this oh, movie? the 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 oh yeah the human yeah. They life. like 
when they kill them, the thing. humans kill them, you know, the fucking, and their graphic, like, the, the war, war, the, war boats. They get their, um, oh, what, what was the show on the Discovery Channel? The Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch, <laughs> yeah. The Deadliest Catch. <laughs> um, and they kill these whale things, and they, like, get some goop from its mouth that, like, apparently makes humans not age. Yeah. Which, that's what what I wanted to say about that, that is, like, I, when I watched that scene, I was like, wow, that was kind of, like, super crazy and out of left field. And then yeah. they, like, don't talk about it ever again. <laughs> they were like, this is uh, fucking, uh, oh, what'd they say? They were like, this is what's funding everything on Pandora now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was like, okay, wouldn't it have been better for the water people to... What if the water people came to the forest people? Because they Because were, they were like, oh, they're hunting our whales for this resource. And like, then you resource. could have had the fish people riding and the air people. That's probably what they're going to do in the next movie. The fish, the fit, like them riding fish and the fucking mountain jungle people on their like dragon things. Maybe. Or every single movie, they're going to be like, we got to go. We're moving. Pack up, kids. And then yeah. they go to a new tribe. We're going like, to the lava this tribe. Is, this is what it's like to be in the hot lava. <laughs> like, now we are molten people. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're, you're red cat monkey people. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I bet. I guarantee you there's going to be red Navi. Guarantee you. <laughs> I feel like that's not... It could happen. Yeah, no. I, I, I. How many scripts are written for this movie right now? You're telling me earlier. Yep. Okay, I, I wrote it down because I want to. I want to have all the stats for this. Avatar three, December twenty twenty four. Avatar four, twenty twenty six. Avatar five, twenty twenty eight. And that's it. That's it for our Avatar. Are, are you locked wow. in for five installments of this franchise? Five, three hours. I mean, tell me you're not going to watch every one. I mean, I am going to watch every yeah. single one, but like only because of the 3D. If the 3D wasn't there, I probably wouldn't have seen this movie, to be honest. Like, the 3D is pretty crazy. The 3D was really fucking cool. Other, like, you know what I was thinking about? Um, I, I think without the 3D aspect of this that james cameron brings to the table yeah it it becomes um oh what was the one sci-fi movie that just fell into obscurity with mila kunis and channing tatum oh what was it called i have no idea yeah that's why (laughs) (laughs) it's called it's called like jupiter ascending or something yeah jupiter ascending oh was that the fucking one that the matrix people yeah the matrix creators made i was like if if Avatar didn't have the 3D aspect, I feel like it would just fall into obscurity like this fucking movie. Don't you think? I think I think it's a really well. I think it's so well animated that I think it will always be super well appreciated. Yeah. I don't know. Like it's like watching a Disney movie. I feel like it's like wow, or like new Pixar movies. You're like, man, I'm not like the biggest 3D animation fan, but like you watch it and you're like, that is really impressive. At t- like you know, like. But I think that the 3D adds so much more to it. Like if you go back and watch the first one on streaming services without the 3D, it's hard. It's just like it looks like Endgame. You know? Yeah. Like true. I, it's not as special. True. Like the actual like experience of seeing it in the theater with the glasses, like. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's its own like experience that's what that's what brought me to this you know how like <laughs> you know how they do like when they do trilogies and movies they like play all the movies in a row when oh, avatar God. 5 comes out it's gonna be like a 32 hour <laughs> like marathon of avatar jesus <laughs> oh, i think what is that so wait so, so the, is the first one three as well it's like 245 it's close Let, so we like, can round up so it's like yeah jesus <laughs> it's a lot of time all right 15 hours of straight avatar boy if one's not like four hours it's, it's gonna be like 19 hours the final <laughs> one's gonna be like a five hour long movie oh the final one's gonna be like two parts yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're right but i still don't even know if i'm like locked in enough because they well yeah i'm gonna go see it for the 3d but 
Like, I'm not invested in the story, I will say. Like, the... I didn't care about the story. I just thought it was cool to watch. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't care about fucking Sigourney Weaver's characters. Like, oh, who's the father? Yeah. And that, oh my God. I know that you was, haven't... That was, like, the shit where it's, like... There was a lot of shit that they, like, just kind of touched. You're like, okay, I guess that's going to be in the next movie. It's, like, the thing that you just said with, like, Sigourney Weaver's avatar. And then she's like, I can, like... Her, like, daughter's, like, I can hear her heart or whatever. Yeah, with with their god. And then she also has, like, mystical powers in the water. Yeah, she had rose power. So yeah. That's what I kept thinking of. <laughs> she was poison ivy in the water. Oh, she was poison ivy in the water. <laughs> <laughs> um, where were we in explaining the story? So they, they moved to the water tribe. Oh, we're right at the beginning still. Yeah, they, they moved to the water tribe. And they're like... We know you, and everybody's like, ha ha, you're different. You're not a fish man. Um, you're a tree man. And the- then the they there's there's like a montage of the dad learning to ride the thing and then yeah. the kids learning to yeah, do like it. Just just like in the first movie where he learns like the dragon thing. He learns how to it's like this fish with like sharp teeth, and then like the kids like have like little ponies, like <laughs> you know, in the water. <laughs> <gasps> yep. It, it was exactly like the first one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, do you think they're going to do this every single movie? No, they can't. I feel like this was this was their, like, The Force Awakens, you know? Like, they, they got to, like, redo the first one but to get every, everybody on but board. But with every, like, the whole appeal of the world building, building of, like, Pandora and going to see the movie is, like, you want to see new, like, crazy technical marvels. You know what I, I mean? I don't know. I'm not in James Cameron's head, but apparently he said it's crazy going forward yeah it's wild <laughs> it's, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be mind blowing the notes that he got on the avatar the avatar 4 script were just holy fuck apparently oh my god you it was did it so again. mind blowing so and the the montage of them like learning to ride the things i felt like were edited really poorly like you didn't yeah. really like get a good like flow i was like oh we're jumping back to this yeah like that's how i felt like there'd, there'd be like one scene of the the kid like fucking up or no it was it specifically what i've been thinking of is sigourney weaver uh was like underwater and like for some reason she could hold her breath for way longer like they just they were like oh, oh yeah where like she? yeah i think her name was like katie I thought cat, they kept cat. saying kitty. Kitty. I thought, yeah, I think it was kitty. <laughs> like, oh, or well, something. they are fucking cats. Yeah. Um, but she was underwater for too long, and I was like, oh, are they going to, like, address also, that? Also, like, so, like, when, when they, oh, so they get to the water tribe, and, like, they're like, we want refuge. We're trying to run away. I just want to protect my family. I don't want to be part of this war anymore. And, like, the chief and her wife are like, yeah, you can stay, but everybody's still like, man, fuck these guys. And... Uh, the wife of the chieftain of like the water navi was such a bitch dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah um oh, where was it going uh, yeah i just feel like she wasn't very like she just was angry the entire time and then there was like points where she would like watch kitty i'm just gonna call that character kitty okay yeah kitty um like controlling the fish or something and i was like oh like she seems like she knows what's up like you know, like she's like mm-hmm. like some prophecy or something like that. But then it's like never really addressed. Maybe yeah. it was just to show like she's like, oh, maybe these guys are kind of like us. Sigourney Weaver's character, Kitty, yeah, <laughs> entirely just kept making me. It reminded me of Dune a lot about Dune. The whole time I was like James Cameron, like read Dune and was like, I want I want to make my Dune movie. Yeah, um, because they. Even fucking Jake Sully, like, they're like, what do they call him? Like, a Tokto Rock or whatever. Like, yeah. that's fucking Muhadib from Dune. Also, that, that's what they call Paul. For this is just kind of some extra random funny trivia. I, I don't know if you, anybody listening to this knows, but there's like a whole language, like, you know, like conjugations and everything <laughs> for what I don't even know what their language is called. For the Navi. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, like, that was actually one of the first things that was developed yeah. in making the first one. Like, before they even had the script, they mm-hmm. had the language, mm-hmm. which is crazy. But um, 
I know you haven't read Dune, and this isn't really a spoiler. Do you care if I tell you? No, I want to read Dune. <sighs> okay. Well, the fact- We're that- talking about Avatar today, Cameron. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Just the fact that, like, Sigourney Weaver's character was, like, maybe an immaculate concep- conception and had these crazy powers. It, yeah. it just reminded me so much of Dune and, like, okay. we've already, like, mentioned the- the similarities between avid like the first one in dune yeah it, it's just i was like come on man like mm-hmm. you, are, you, are you really gonna try and like piggyback dune this whole time yeah like, that's what i just kept thinking of that's a, that's a fair criticism yeah the story was not yeah it wasn't that great it was engaging but it wasn't like the story at times i feel like didn't connect you're right and like oh, fucking jake sully is such a dumbass like I didn't think Jake Sully's character was as much of a dumbass as the kids were. Like, literally, like, I think every single time, like, there was a point in the story where something, like, happened where it was, like, you know, like, bigger moments in the story. Mm -hmm. It was because the kids went off and did something fucking stupid. And then they're like, Dad, um, so, where there's four gunships closing in on us. (laughs) Here come the Americans. (laughs) And it's... (laughs) No, no, I agree, but... At the beginning, it was like uh, Zoe Zaldana's character, Natiri, she's like, the wife. She's like, this is a family, not a squadron. Uh-huh. And I guess if he'd been like raising them as a squadron the entire time, like she's been saying, like, why are they so fucking stupid? Like, yeah. They're true. literally so dumb. They put themselves in the worst scenarios. They do. It was, it was like kind of comical every time something happened. You're like, guys, Jesus. <laughs> Um, dad, <laughs> <laughs> dad, so this guy has a rocket launcher pointed at our littlest daughter's or our littlest sister's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's like, we'll be there in a sec. <laughs> I will say the action when they fought was really fun. It was cool. Like, yeah. there was some cool action. Uh, but obviously, James Cameron knows how to direct action. Yeah, very chill. Just... Isn't there a video game of Avatar coming out? Okay. <laughs> the, I've got a, a, the entire history of Avatar video games. Oh, yes. Um, that I want to go into later because we haven't even finished talking about the story. But is, Isn't there a new one, though? There is a new out? one coming out. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. into it. I'll play, I play honestly. I, I'll get I, into it because I, I could do if I could like spear humans up at like this onto the ceiling like they do in this one. I think that you're like gonna that. find all of my notes on the Avatar games very interesting, and I I have everything about the new one coming out too. Okay. Like I, I've got a lot of info. So fuck yeah. But let, let's finish talking about the actual movie, and we'll talk about the games. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Where where were we in the story? <laughs> so they get to the water tribe. There's like the poorly edited montages of them learning everything. Of them learning everything, and then the villain learns how to ride the thing. Yeah, and then and then so the general goes out to the islands and is like, oh oh the the spider kid gets taken too. By the, oh yeah, did we not say that? Ones? Yeah, the spider kid and their first encounter, that which prompts them to run away. The to first the time end. that the kids get in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah. prompts them to run away to the water tribe. The human child, which is the bad guy's son, gets captured by him. Oh, that was. We keep like fucking going back, but that was something that was like just um, revealed right away, just so easily to every character, every audience member. Like, oh, he's the colonel's son. All right. And then it was like, and you're like, all right, you, like shit. Wouldn't that have been like a cool reveal to like hang on to that the general could have like found out about like yeah. later? Yeah. I don't know. That was something that was just and the 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 kid that was Spider was not a good actor. He was not good. I did not like that kid. I don't no. even know if he's a kid. Like he looked <laughs> kind of like an adult. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, so what? anyways, the, the kids are like learning everything and one of the, okay, so there's the eldest son and then there's like the main son. Oh, he son. is a kid. The well, main, the main kid. son who's like the story follows, um, like the middle kid, the yeah, middle like son, the, yeah, the, the middle, middle biological kid. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yes, two <laughs> kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, just real quick. When when Spider got captured, if he cares so much about his like little family, 
why didn't he like go and save the kid like save spider like i yeah. feel like they were just like ah fuck you spider we're yeah just we're traveling across country like yeah, we're gonna travel like to another part of the globe <laughs> And yeah, and like, we're going to leave you with wouldn't, the wouldn't, wouldn't that have been a good reason for him to be like, oh, I like my dad more because like my family abandoned me. I really thought he was going to like side with the human or uh, th- that like would have been such a better reason for him to like help them out. Yeah. I agree. Otherwise, because he was just helping them out because it was like, oh, I, I know more <laughs> of this world than you, you stupid human. <laughs> what? <laughs> like it just felt so forced that he was helping them out. Yeah, it did. All right, so so the kids are learning the way of the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the the middle biological kid then is like he gets in a fight with all of them because he has like five fingers and like because he has like human blood because of the avatar and whatever. Yeah, there's a lot. It, it, there's the world building is kind of cool. Like, but like there's a lot to it. Okay. Just li- real quick. They, uh, they get in a fight with the fish kids and then the fish kids play a prank on the middle <laughs> child and like abandon him in this big fucking area and he gets attacked by this fish monster, which was a cool scene, I thought. Oh, in that when he gets attacked by the fish monster and he's like trying to like swim through the, the reef and stuff uh-huh. and he gets trapped and then he like kind of swims up and it looks like he's about to get eaten and then the big hammerhead whale thing comes in and like saves <laughs> yeah. him at the last minute. All I could hear in the back of my head was Qui-Gon going, there's always a bigger fish. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. Um, And then that's when he befriends the whale thing. Yep. But I just wanted to say, because I looked up on Wikipedia, I just wanted to look up the the plot. And Mm -hmm. how is the Wikipedia plot? Only like four paragraphs. It's so short. It's five paragraphs. Mm, They did a good job (laughs) summarizing it. The spark notes. (laughs) Yeah, they did. (laughs) Um, so he befriends the outsider whale thing. Yeah, and he's an outsider because he is tried violent. to attack. Yeah, he tried to attack the humans, but the humans were like killing his like family and like his tribe. Mm-hmm. And like you, like the reason why like he's an outcast is because like they don't kill. You know? The whales are like pacifists, yeah. I guess, because the whales are sentient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the <laughs> and and then. <laughs> When they were like talking to the whales, and there's like the subtitle of the whale with the eye like, blinking, and it's like, "I love you." <laughs> How is your baby doing? It's like we used to sing together. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She was a great composer. It's fucking lame, dude. Yeah. It's fucking okay, lame. I, I started laughing because I was like, I was thinking about like. And then, uh, so the big fish whale monster opens its mouth and then the avatar man goes inside <laughs> and a little like dick unfurls from the back <laughs> of the whale and they connect and they can share each other's memories. <laughs> like, do you think like, it's, it's creative, <laughs> you know, but it's just kind of funny to say out loud. <laughs> Well, with the, with the like the braid thing, it's like that's how they bang, right? Like, yeah. Every, <laughs> I, I, even in like, wait, cause isn't that how they got conceived? Like, yeah. Why did they have tits? So that that like, means they fucked the the whale. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, and then when so every time they're riding animals, they're just like subconsciously just like fucking it well what about when at the very beginning when jake sully's learning to ride the water thing and they're like holding it down they're like all right jab <laughs> your braid into it to like do it gently now <laughs> no dude no. jab your braid into it jake <laughs> holy shit that's incredible Oh, God, that might have been an oversight on their part. <laughs> like, why do they have to bond with everything like that, you know? Yeah. Why couldn't they just ride it? And then their pupils get all big. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. God, uh, we uh, the fucking kids. What happens? What what? Ha- I don't even remember what happens in the middle. It's like they, that happens, he gets with, the fucking big whale thing. And then... Oh, doesn't he, like, go to the the chief and they're like, you are outcast. Or why why were you with outcast? 
And then he's like, he's not an outcast. And then Jake Sully pulls him away by the arm really quick. And then it cuts away and suddenly he's with the with the daughter. And it was like, that was a weird cut. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you notice that too? I don't. I there's. I could. I could not so like separate that specific part. I'd have the to, editing was whack. I yeah, thought. you thought so. Yeah. Okay, and the, the, what the map is in the middle is the general is trying to find Jake Sully at the at the islands, and he's like, "Fuck it, let's just bait him out." Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they that's burn what, down the one tribe. Yeah, they burn down a tribe, and then they kill those whale things that the middle child like bonded with. And then they get the fountain of youth goo yeah from the fish that like keeps humans super alive or like longer for uh lives to make them live longer jesus Mm -hmm. um and then they kill the whale and like the whale's like daughter and that was like the tribal chief's wife's like friend whale friend her 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 soul sister yeah her soul sister (laughs) hey soul sister hey dear mr mr Okay, wait, I just want to go back to the fucking eternal youth goop. That's way more interesting than unobtainium. Than like, yeah. oh, here's very expensive rock or goop that makes you live forever. That's, That's what I'm saying, cooler. dude. That's what I'm saying. In the third movie, it's going to be another animal. And they're going to be like, this horn right here off of this rhinoceros being, this is like steroids, but makes your dick bigger. <laughs> they're like, wow. Big braid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so they kill a whale and then the fish tribe sees like the tribal chief's wife is like oh no my fish friends they're like we gotta kill them all and jake's like no they're they so just want evil me. yeah they just want me but let's all assemble and like well it kind of seemed like they didn't know that they were after jake sully and then until at the very last minute when he was like, it just has to be me. Like, they're only after me. Yeah. Did the rest of the tribe not know that? Like, it it seemed like him and... Like, they didn't do a good job of making it seem like that, but I think that only Jake and Natiri knew. No, I think they knew. You think so? Because he told them, I think. Okay. And, like, remember at the beginning, they're like, we don't want you to bring your war here. And he's like, don't worry about it. It's totally not going to happen. And then he did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess they did know. Yeah. Oh, and he captured their kids, too. Yeah. Again. Well, I okay, got your they... kids, Jake Sully. Yeah, somehow. I don't remember how they get captured. I think he was just with the fucking whale again. We, yeah, we've no, like missed yeah. a lot. No, no, but... no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're right, because like they kill it, and then they're like, oh, there's like this tracking device. Like oh, this and then they find death. it on the outsider whale. Yeah, which is like the middle kid's like... Soul sister. Soul brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, And then, yeah, that's when like... <laughs> I think that scene is pretty hilarious. Like the huge military like warcraft, <laughs> like, <laughs> dang, 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 like coming around the mountain as they're like, pull out the death! The mark of death, they're coming. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, Dad, um, so <laughs> don't, don't, don't have the greatest news. <laughs> We're in trouble again. <laughs> yeah, they get captured, and then that's like the final battle, which goes on for a while. Yeah, the last action scene was like the last fucking hour. Yeah. Which was the most fun part of the movie? It was the most fun part. And then all the humans die. Jake uh, and the general have another fight. And then neither of them die. Yeah. Only well, Jake, 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 Jake beats him in the fight. Yeah. But then like, as like, cause of course his whole family is like drowning somewhere in this like destroyed, like fucking military boat that we were referring to. And they're like trying to like save him and shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he he thinks that he beat the general because he choked him out. Yes, and, and spider, spider ends yes, up saving Jesus. him. Jesus, there's this, there's so much to this movie, man. Spider ends up saving him for no reason. Like I thought, Spider was gonna honestly. Spider should have stayed with him too because there's the one like there's the Mexican standoff. Where, yeah, where the mom like is about to kill him. About to kill him. So I thought Spider was gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna stay with you. Yeah, because, like, like, because she my was about to sacrifice mother was me. gonna fucking stab me yeah. in the chest. But yeah. then he's like, <sighs> he yeah. hisses at him and leaves. <laughs> You're like, all right. 
<laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That was stupid. Uh, Spider's character was bad. Spider's character was bad. Also, does he have to wear that mask to not breathe the Pandora air for oh, like yeah, the be- rest of his fucking like... Because the Pandora air is like poisonous to humans. Yeah. It's like more CO2, I think they explain. Mm-hmm. So he's just like... I'm surprised uh, that that yeah. breather thing worked underwater. Yeah, like he was more <laughs> powerful than like the Navi guys like diving down there. He was. He knew the way of the water. He did know the way of the water. And that's pretty much the end of the movie. That was the end of the movie. And the older, the oldest biological son dies. Yeah. Um, I think it, the plot was very similar to the first one. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. The plot yeah. was not there. The plot was no, not the there. The plot at was all. not there. The at world all. building was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. Uh, the the three D was the the three D was incredible. Yeah. The three D was awesome. J- just as we expected, like a technical marvel. Like, but yeah, yeah. The action was cool, but yeah, it looked like a cutscene for a lot of it. I uh, can I spoil one of the movies that we watch for our, our video game season? Because it reminded me of what we watched. <laughs> for uh, for the upcoming, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It reminded me of that Resident Evil movie that we watched. That was yeah. like almost all a video game cutscene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. I was like... There was is- some points where it really looked like a video game cutscene. There was a lot of... the. Uh, Maybe with- that's just a testament to how good video games have gotten. Because yeah. back in the day, I don't think that would be a... Compa- how, how was... Did it... I guess, yeah, you said it earlier... It probably it doesn't look as good because it's not in 3D, but I don't know. I, I feel like was the first movie like still watchable, like it still looked good, you know? I don't know. Um it like it looked good. It didn't look like it it the, the visuals still held up, but I yeah. think like what really stood out to me from watching the first one at home versus the second one in the theater was that there's like so much more depth to the image when you're yeah. watching it in theaters. Like you can literally see like the background, the foreground, everything in the middle, all the detail, like every like leaf mm-hmm. on the tree, every bubble, every like particle in the water. Yeah, the, the that people was who really designed cool. that fucking world is those nuts. Yeah. Like, it's super, super impressive. It's really well done. But I think watching it on streaming services, you just, it's not the same effect. Yeah. I guess so, you'd have, yeah, you'd have to buy like a super nice like 3D monitor or something like that where it's like, well, yeah, you can get one, but like that's the only time I feel like I, just to watch Avatar, yeah, right? is it Avatar or Avatar end, worth or like Endgame, I guess. Like, but, but the thing is that like Avatar, this was better than like watching a, a like say you go see Endgame in 3D. Like yeah. I would rather see Endgame regular. Yeah, I, would, I agree. Because Avatar is made to be in 3D. Yeah. Like, most of the, like, big blockbuster movies, like, because, you know, they still do, like, the 3D showings, but, like, This no is one the first time to. I think of... Have we... I don't think we've watched a 3D movie. I, I, I think this think is the so. first time I've watched a 3D movie in a very, very long time. I saw Thor 4 in 3D, and I saw Shang-Chi in 3D. <laughs> Just yeah. because I, I think I was trying love to... Love it. Is that Love it? Or, yeah, love and Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was trying to go see them opening weekend and I didn't buy tickets right away. And, and that was like what was left. That was what was left yeah. was the 3D. And it's it does it's not as good because they're they they take the I'll say standard and they like convert it into 3D. But yeah. Avatar was like shot like th- for 3D. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That that's why it's better. That makes sense. That's why, yeah. Okay, tell me about the Avatar the games. video games. Okay. So, guess... How, oh, so, this is the notable Avatar game history. If you want a mo- more in-depth review of all these games, check out a video by Austin Eruption, where he goes way more in-depth with all these. But there's... yeah. So all of these Avatar games were released in conjunction with the first movie. They were all released on the same day, developed and published by Ubisoft, except for the mobile versions, which were published by Gameloft. Okay. So we're going to start with the... Oh, this was one of those games, too, of the, like, 
PS2, PS3 era where uh, there'd be like a licensed game. It, it was James Cameron's Avatar the Game is what it was called. Yeah. So there was a Wii, PSP, DS, iOS and Android, PS3 and 360 version. Nice. All different games, but all with the same box art. Sick. So we're going to start with the Wii and PSP version because those are the same. Okay. They're actually stealth games. Ah. And they're prequels about the humans first getting to Pandora. And the Wii version had balance board support because there were rail shooter versions. Oh, really? (laughs) Interesting. Um, The DS version is a Zelda clone, and it's controlled entirely by the stylus. Okay. Oh, there's also a mobile version for, like, Blackberries, because that's when Avatar was released at that time. Interesting. So, like, a non-iOS, it was just a 2D platformer. Uh Uh-huh. iOS and Android, another prequel, 3D platformer, launched at $10. Can you imagine getting a mobile game for $10? How much <laughs> in-app purchases have you... I, All, right. I, I, <laughs> let, all right, moving on. So apparently the <laughs> iOS Android version has... Well, it does. It's, apparently it's pretty good. has the highest Metacritic score of any of the Avatar games. That's cool. But unfortunately, all the mobile versions are lost to time as they've been pulled to the app pulled from the app store. There's no... And like the updates probably don't support it anymore. There's no possible way to play it. Yeah. And then, so the big one are the PS3 360 versions. So these ones had multiple campaigns and endings. Uh One where you can choose to fight for the humans and you genocide all the Na'vi. That's one of the campaigns. (laughs) And the other one is where you pick the Na'vi and it like basically just follows the plot of the film. Yeah. Um, The human campaign is apparently easier because... Humans get all the actual fucking guns and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the the Na'vi are pretty much just made of glass. They have melee weapons with their bows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's major performance issues. But uh, Sigourney Weaver and Michelle Rodriguez reprise their roles for the games. That's cool. So. I'm very curious about the new one coming out. Okay, wait, there was also another mobile game that was an MMO RPG that was originally marketed to set the stage for the new film coming out. It was developed in, in LA, but it had a soft launch in 2019 in foreign territories. But the team announced in February 2022 that development had ceased and the game would not be receiving a US release. It was called Pandora Rising. It was a mobile game. Okay. So wow. that is also lost to time. So there are two Avatar games coming out. Two. One is a, another mobile game <laughs> called yes. Avatar Reckoning. It is a trading card game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's like a Clash of Clans type game where you're okay. like a city builder or whatever. So then there's there's like there's a there's a triple A game called Frontiers of Pandora. Um Again, going to be published and developed by Ubisoft. <laughs> so not going to be that good, probably. And both of these games were announced over a year ago, setting a 2022 release, which obviously isn't happening. Mm-hmm. We don't know anything else about these games. They, we haven't heard anything else except that they were supposed to release this year. But Didn't they show a trailer recently? Or... I think it was just a cinematic trailer. Mm, okay. I think a game of this world would be pretty fun. Honestly, just from the action that James Cameron did. I'm like, it'd be cool to be a fucking Navi and just run around and pick up humans and like I think the, throw them around. I think the idea of the other one where you like can pick between the human and the Navi is kind of a cool idea as yeah. well. And then you could like use all the human stuff. Like they're like exoskeleton suits or something mm-hmm. like that. And like... There, you could fly in the helicopters as the humans, or you can fly in the fucking banshee things fucking as the avatars. The ships, and I don't know if they looked, I don't know if the ships are that different in design in this movie, like the human sh- like airships than mm-hmm. the first one. But I remember, I think they are a little bit, but I remember the first one. I know you haven't played Halo, 
But the Pelicans and Halo look exactly like the fucking like it looked like straight ripped out. Ripped okay, out let me look up. They're called Pelicans. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought they kind of looked like him. What the fuck is this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, don't I can know. see it. I, I, sure. I, I kind of thought that. Maybe I, I didn't think it that much in this movie, but I remember when watching the first movie, I was like, they look like the Halo things. Yeah. It was above average, is what I'd say. It was above average. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I really, I, I was very engaged. You're right. I think it was, the big thing was the 3D. I, I, I didn't have a bad time watching it. It was like very stupid, but. I made like honestly, if if one of my friends was like I haven't seen it, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go watch it with you. It was kind of cool. I would go to the theaters to watch it. Yeah. I wouldn't watch it no, like, not, at home. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> like if there was like another theatrical release, like oh, we're re-releasing. I don't know any of the avatars, honestly. Like yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know. So that, are you super hyped for Avatar Three: The Way of the Magma People? <laughs> I mean, I'm about as hype as I was for this one. Like, I, I know it's going to look cool. Avatar 4, the way of the underground people. Oh, there is going to be Avatar 5, the way of the people. Of the oh. Navi. And it's everyone. And then they come together yeah. in their, in their endgame thing. And they all come through the portals. <laughs> yeah. On your left, Jake Sully. Yeah. <sighs> James Cameron got you, bro. James Cameron, explorer <laughs> of the steep, or something like that. Yeah. I don't know how the South Park lyrics go, but James Cameron loves exploring the deep, bro. Yeah. I love James Cameron. He's beautiful. He is a beautiful man. All right. I think to end end the pot, is there anything else you really pertinent you want to say? No, I don't think so. Okay, to end the podcast, I'll, well, to end it on a James Cameron note, you told me something earlier about the interview you had with him. Oh, yeah? Um, where he they asked him if uh, when's the best time to pee during the movie. Oh, yeah. And James Cameron answered, uh, anytime because you'll go and see the movie twice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, we're watching Whale soon. We're watching Whale soon. Be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I hope that like that's that's an exciting movie. That'll be a good one. Yep. And there will be a video game movie season coming out at some point soon. Yeah, we're working on it. Don't yeah. worry. There's always stuff in the works. <laughs> yep. Uh, tell us what you thought about Avatar. Uh, you heard what we thought. Um, anyways, thank you so much for listening as always. And we hope you have a great rest of your day slash night. Bye-bye.